It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> don't do it. That's just the. That's just the appetizer. Constellation. Yeah. <laughs> this is the real one. Oh, that is pretty. Because you always wanted pearls, so they're real pearls. Thank you. Cool. I like that a lot, actually. I like that a lot. Aha. I knew I was going to make you cry. <laughs> Damn, man. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I did. Wow. Mm. Aha. I was waiting for the moment to arrive Waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for you And I wouldn't miss it for Yeah, so I'm Adam's brother. They know this, they're watching this. It's been a heptic of a day with uh, all the music. So they can thank me later, they'll appreciate that. You gotta come in good karma. Uh, no, it's a great day out today. These two are super lucky. Yeah. Uh, Oh, they love this one. Hey, how does uh, how does a penguin build his house? He glues it. Yeah. The light's starting to get perfect. I know. They're starting to glow behind you. That's where we're going to want to do some creative couple uh, shots. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a welding project I've been working on. I'm going to bring and a couple other things. Yeah, some ice skates, um, bubble gum. What else have I incorporated? He's joking. No, uh, no, I, don't. I think we might be putting you in the video. <laughs>
I don't know. Fair Last one here. You can try walking towards me now. <laughs> Adam, Jody, I have two pieces of advice. I have two two words of wisdom for you. One, it's 85 degrees out. I'm drinking a cup of coffee. Don't do that. It's very hot. I'm sweating right now. Second of all, always bet the over. People are gonna tell you bet the under, especially in the NBA playoffs, but no, bet the over. You don't wanna root against the points. Always go for the points. Congratulations. And right there. Yeah, yeah. He was here. He was here. Oh, right. yeah. Both of you. Okay. Yeah, both get in there. Uh, you stay. Where was I? You were there. Okay. You were living. Yeah. Yeah. I, do. I, do. Uh, I do do that. So I'm a friend of the bride and groom. Um, I knew them through Delta's, through the fraternity, of course. Adam's a Delta and Alex as well. Long story short, when I first met Jody and, and Adam, was at a campfire like background thing. At yeah, 921 at Sean's house. At Sean's house. Yep. And uh, I got so belligerently drunk at 19 years old at meeting them, I offered Jody the first time I've ever met her in the entire life. The fact that Adam was dating her and I was like, you guys are gonna get married, I'm gonna give you drinks for free every bar I see you at. And she has told me this story. I do actually remember this too. Every <laughs> I was there. single day. I was there. <laughs> and that is the first time I ever met Jody. Um, and frankly, every time that I have seen her at a bar, we have to have that type of interaction. And I, man of my word. Ah, oh, so grudgingly I have to buy her a drink every bar I see her. <laughs> but I love her to death and she has been a part of my life for now three years. And they've been together for five No, actually five years. So five years she's been a part of my part of my life. But immediately four years of part of my life for all of my best friends. Um, and every time I see Jody, we have this fun little game of like, do you remember how drunk you were the first time you met me? And I'm like, God. <laughs> so. But I love you. So yeah. that's the only thing I would I say. Remember. Love you, Jody. Love you, Adam. Have a fantastic life. Remembrance is key. Sharp mind. Yeah. Okay. Advice for you guys. And yeah. Then go. Best okay. advice is okay. don't leave the mother or okay. the groom's speech at home. My piece of advice is to forgive quickly and do not keep score. Yeah. So I think my marriage advice. To you, Jody, is just avoid any in-law family gatherings as much as possible. We're talking weddings, anniversaries, births. Go. Hi, Jody. <laughs> Hi, Ed. <laughs> uh, my advice would be always continue to give compliments. And my advice is to always accept the help, even if it's not what you asked for. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Hi guys! Hey guys, thank you so much for inviting us to your special day. If I have one piece of advice, that is to love each other fully and to never go to bed angry at each other. Thank you so much guys, we love you! Yeah! Jody, you looked incredibly hot. Yeah, you both looked amazing. You're the best, thank Wish you. Wish you nothing but the world. Happy wedding! Happy wedding! Happy wedding. Happy wedding. Happy wedding. <laughs> Adam, don't think before you talk. I'm going to flip that all the way around. <laughs> and also, love you guys. And... Yeah, that's, that's good. We love you. <laughs> no. Always have. We're going to see you on that front porch. And we're very lucky to have you as our friend. And you guys are going to teach us about marriage. We... <laughs> so we're, we're honored to learn from you. Winners that have class, Angela. Oh, yeah. Obviously.
right. <laughs> what, Give it a good one. Don't hold anything back. Oh, no holding back. Um, okay. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Just start talking. Talk to them. Something you'd want to say to them. Anything. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired. Give me a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Something. Be your best friend. Look us up. <laughs> Yep, talk right to them. Something you'd like them to hear. We need one more camera. Congratulations on getting married. It's been an absolutely splendid day. I hope that this day is as wonderful as the rest of your lives. Knock it off. Okay, he's been up and up. Okay. And that's a call of fishing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. It's really, really sharp. Jody and Adam. Yeah. Did you make this? That's the, you got the knife that OJ had. Oh, <laughs> 6923. I see it. You gotta. <laughs> that is. Yeah, did wow. you see Excellent. that OJ hat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got some pretty petty too. Thank you. Mm hmm. I guess. Special yep, hand over hand. Oh, yeah. Want to read you? <laughs> See, I was going to go the opposite. Oh, promise? <laughs> Trust each other. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations. We love you. And remember that whatever you let each other get away with, you're going to be doing for the rest of your relationship. So if you see something that's bothering you, call it out right away. Don't wait. And remember that you chose each other every day. That's it. Ditto. Uh, yeah, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Fran messages her this morning and she's like, hope you have the best day. He's like, girl, you were supposed to I hope you were going to be part of my day and instead, deadass, it is 9am. I hope you have the best day. And I really hope you'd be a part of my day and instead, instead I have a bro of honor because he's so much better than you are. Yeah. And he's a DJ. <laughs> and he's playing the chicken dance right now, so you can't. I hear the chicken dance. That's interesting choices for everybody. Yeah, but so you can't really. Yeah, we had a maid of honor that. at one point, and sh she dropped. she dropped that ball so hard. But you know yeah. what? I'm happy because what I heard, <laughs> I heard that she would have. Um, I promise these two, I'd actually write a speech, not just say everything in my head. <laughs> They let me live in their house with them, so whatever they say when he goes, <laughs> I have to. Paul uh, around rock, paper, scissors, be Adam's best man. <laughs> I was kidding, that never happened. <laughs> but I am happy to be Jody's bro of honor, though. Whether I'm the voice of reason or she says my jokes are stupid, we support each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jody wants to put makeup on me when I was sleeping before a concert, so. Never had a sister. I think that's a pretty sister thing to do. <laughs> and I know with our family, the running joke is that you guys permanent third wheel. And I am the, actually the official referee to all arguments. Works out really well for them. So they're lucky to have me. 42-40, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> But even though you two are really competitive, um, I just want you to remember his dad always says marriage is not a competition. 
And it's actually, for me, it's really relaxing to be able to come home from drill after a weekend and see you two laughing on the couch together. And like a couch, you have to search sometimes really deep to find the hidden treasures. <laughs> if you live your life on the surface, you never find anything worth exploring. And I'm glad marriage is something you two searched deep for and found it was something worth exploring. And so to you two, I'd say, happy spelunking. Cheers. <laughs> for their marriage advice. My mother, who celebrates 60 years this year, is still struggling with an answer. While the answers might not always come easy, asking for help from each other, from friends, from family, is a great tool to seek support in those times when things aren't easy. Relationships require less effort with a good support network. Focus on the things you're good at. Focus on the things you're good at. I hope the honeymoon phase lasts as long as possible. Just don't lose touch with the sense of self. Marriage may be about compromising. Sometimes you must just give in, but don't give up the things that make you who you are individually. I'm shaking. <laughs> Passionate. It was evident you partnered well together earlier this week when I witnessed you both work through a minor disagreement on the table setup. <laughs> Your initial visions didn't align, but you worked through it together to come to a solution that worked for you both. Other times, I've seen you rely on the strength of the other to reach your goal. Everyone here should know, do not compete against Jody in the game of the office trivia. <laughs> Lastly, remind yourself why. Recently listening to a podcast featuring one of my favorite speakers discovered on a TED Talk, Simon Sinek, I found that his sentiment starting about starting with why and not focusing on what was not just applicable in your occupation, but relatable to relationships too. Why did you ask her, Adam? Why did you say yes, Jody? And why did you both say I do today? The reasons and the feels behind that motivation should be a constant reminder to each other, for better or for worse. <laughs> I'm raising my glass to Jody and Adam, to their great support network, to the individuality each one of us brings to the relationship, and to everyone supporting the why today. I'm looking forward to those memories, building those memories with the both of you as a couple. Continue to hit me up when you're in the area. Maybe just not a beer at Garfish on Sunday. <laughs> and I'll continue to do the same. Cheers. Woo! 
Yeah, let's get this shit started. Oh, Please, excuse me, excuse me. Hand up if you hear me. Eyes and ears, eyes and ears. The sooner you guys stop, the sooner we can be done. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, yeah. So as the best man, uh, my sole responsibility was to get the groom at the ceremony. I wasn't too worried about that because they spent a lot of money and he was for sure going to show up. So, not that, not that big of an issue there. Um, he's always been good with money. Uh, for instance, well, about over half the wedding party, we were all in a fraternity in college, and we have two opposite stories of our first nights there. I got kicked out right away, but in about a couple of months, he came through for the first time and flashed a $10 bill in the window to get in, and sure enough, he got in, right? Yeah. Uh, in Delta, we learned a lot, all of us, about many things, we had many experiences, and I'm not going to touch too much on that, you know, for legal purposes. <laughs> but we learned a lot, especially for the instance of brotherhood. We all came closer together, and all that sentimental stuff. You know. <laughs> Anyway, let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, at one point, Adam was in a, in, a, in a place in mind that we all kind of get to, as you know, there's no one out there for me. There's, you know, it doesn't really feel right. You know, you, you have a sense of uh, lonesomeness. And I told him when he, when he was bending to me one day, is that attraction is inevitable. If you're a living, breathing thing, something, someone will be attracted to you someday. I said less point less point than that. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, fast forward a couple of years. I look pretty wise. Yeah. And one more thing. We always got a lot of uh, rules from like sitcoms. We watched How I Met Your Mother all the time. And one one rule that we always kind of took to heart was the front porch, front porch test. And that's essentially, you know, picture yourself with your partner and your best friend and their partner on a porch when you're old. And how does that look? How does that conversation go? Are you guys happy? Well, Jody not only passed the front porch test, but she also came to a dear friend to me. Man, I'm gonna cheers, yeah, that's about it. Okay. I am technically not the speaker of the family. Shelly. Shelly usually is the one that does all the speaking. I am the mother of the groom, and I have to apologize. I left my speech at home. So, as the mother, as the mother of Adam, there are so many moments in a child's life that stay with you. There are moments when they are born and you hold them and you wonder what is going to become of them? How are they going to grow up? Who are they going to love? But you never forget that child. I am so blessed that he has found Jody to be his soulmate and to become part of his family. I am also so blessed to welcome her parents, Mona and Ron, to also be our family. As our children grow, I am excited to watch what their life will unfold for them. It is just, it is a blessing. Um, to end my speech, which I have to change here, <laughs> not technical. Huh. Well, I just erased it. <laughs> I know. No, I can't wait. <laughs> so, I would like to end it with a German wedding blessing. 
they can pull it up again. I am not technical. They take they take they take the technology away from me at work. So if you'd like to raise your glasses to Adam and Jody, we raise your glasses now. No, I gotta find the English. I know. Contact this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had it all figured out. Well, thank you. Well, anyways. I know. All right. Raise your glasses to Adam and Jody. May we bless you with a life full of happiness that you will know nothing but joy in your life and your house will be filled with children. <laughs> Sweat in my eyes. <sighs> TGIF, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It has been a week, babe. It's, you know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's actually a lot that goes into a wedding. You're doing it once, right? Yeah, I'm only doing it once. <laughs> you taking notes, Brian? Taking somebody. For those of you who don't know this, this guy's actually getting married in October. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm writing you a whole PowerPoint presentation. Hey, Don't worry. Yeah. It's your wedding gift. Got all <laughs> <laughs> Brian, thank you for being here, man. Yeah. You, you've always been the level-headed one about the group. That We need that. Yeah. We need the level-headed one. On the opposite side of your wife, Chris, <laughs> thank you. Chris is not very level-headed. <laughs> you are my favorite group, though, and that's saying something because there's four of them. <laughs> Oh, I love you, bud. And I'd love to tell a story, but they're all inappropriate. So, <laughs> speaking of inappropriate, Tyler Johnson. Tyler, Tyler Johnson. Our life would be 30% more boring without this guy. Honestly. That you, you, yeah, whether it's last night or whether it's this morning, making sure I got a beer in my hand, I appreciate it. I really do. I get distracted sometimes. <laughs> Paul, I love you. Always out. Always out, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really have much to say about you, man, other than, like, get a haircut, you hippie. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've seen him with short hair. He needs the man butt, trust me. Uh, oh, wait, what's up, bro? I kind of forgot about you over there. I'm yeah, you are. Yeah. You know, you're just always tricycling around, third view and that just you're always there and I appreciate it. But no, would, really to get sentimental though, I really appreciate being the bro of honor. You you really have took that mantle. You helped us with the food tasting, setting up the venue, the venue walkthrough. You took it I think, man. I'm bro. I love you, bro. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh. Speaking of love, what's that, babe? Oh, uh, gosh, she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Jody, 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 Jody. <laughs> I had something to say, but I totally lost it. <laughs> I'll just say I love you, babe. 
Uh, thank you, thank you everyone for coming out on a Friday. I really appreciate it. A um, couple of thank yous. Thank you, Joe's and Joel, for manning the, the table and taking care of all the, the photo book. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate that. Bonnie, thank you for just kind of taking on a coordinator role. Yes, thank you. Last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we did ask you, you know, last Sunday. I appreciate you for the last minute. Uh, Dakota, where's your beard at? There you are, yeah. That's the man that's been doing all the announcements. I appreciate your voice, man. Thank you. Uh, Mom, am I forgetting anyone? Where's she at? She gave me a big list, but, you know, I forgot it. Oh, yes, dessert. Thank you for all the aunts uh, uh, that helped make the dessert table. It really looks delicious. Um, thank you, Mona. She made some very nice heart-shaped chocolates. Do not skip on them. I guarantee you they are golden. Golden. Uh, all right, well. Oh, and thank you to the caterers and the bartenders. If it wasn't for you, we'd be starving and sober. So thank you. Oh. Well, let's have a good night, everyone. Thank you for coming.